right, so here we have a Philips LDK-14. They were first made in 1977, and it is meant to be a fully automatic, portable broadcast camera. So I'm going to do some shots inside, and then some garden shots. And now I'm going to cover how the controls on the front of the camera do things. Right, on the front they cover it with a cap so you don't press it by mistake. That is auto centering, which I'll show you in a minute for the registration. Although it was a bit notorious for not doing it. And then above here, balance. If the filter wheel is set to a blank metal plate to let no light in its black balance and that does work very well and then when you've got a filter in and a picture it becomes a white balance and that system does work well so. right so that's the registration chart an inverted L and when it's unregistered then it can look like that or many other ways to be honest and then I have to press the registration button and then these do have a bit of a reputation for either doing it or maybe not doing it so I'm going to have a go right and that's what the auto managed which isn't quite perfect so I'm going to do it manual which is something that was pretty common in the days when these were used And then that's just tweaking it in manual. And if I go to the camera, that's what you have to do. Split the thing in half. And then the controls are all in the back, which I'll show you. And then in the back, you've got all the picture processing. And down there, all the deflection. There it is, roughly registered. So that's manual. So again, I say you have to split the thing. You'll have to do that in the field as it's a portable camera, so. see it doesn't need that much light to produce that so right so that's it roughly registered up so once again these just about will do 400 lines give or take so but then they are on quite small tubes so that's not bad so you can just about see 400 lines, which is the spec for the transmission system. Let's see, there it is once again, so There's its little one inch viewfinder tube that remains super sharp. They're a brilliant thing. So I don't know if I can get that any better. Yeah, there's the image. I can't get the magnifier off. They make sure it won't come off completely. So we just have to try and film around it. But it's pretty sharp. So. So once again, in the back of the thing, with all its controls, you can see just the back of the tube 
there one of the three tubes so you can see the filament just glowing so And the other thing about these, if you let the lens get to a too large aperture, I've noticed they do drop resolution. So if you keep the picture fairly bright and the aperture stays smaller, the lens, then you get better resolution. So. So there we go. And then we'll do some shots outside as well. Here's the other one, the first video I done, the EMI 2005, now on a tripod, which makes it a lot easier to deal with. And also, a little skid made by me out of Dexian, which works very well as well. These are just the usual garden shots, so... There's another one of the hens. And that's just through the viewfinder, which I think I said was one inch, but of course it is a one and a half inch tube, so...
So inside you've got the usual configuration. There's a prism that you can't see which is behind or inside that unit and then you've got your three tubes. So the blue one at the back, the green at the bottom and the red at the top. So and of course the usual collection of high voltages to drive them. In the back of the camera is all the circuit boards. There is one on the other side of that so it is quite full. Right, so as for the pickup tubes, the one on the right is what this Philips uses. They're two thirds of an inch, which is 18 mil, compared to the big one, which is 30 mil, which is just under one and a quarter inches. So um, you can see how much smaller it is. And of course the large one is used on the EMI there. So, And then that's a tiny tube, a CRT one and a half inch that they use in the viewfinder. So I must admit they seem to last forever. So, so anyway, there it is. The Philips LDK14 made in 1977 and fairly automatic, although it does need some manual help to adjust it.